So uh, I'm sitting here at night and this is what I do when I'm not fishing. I go fishing on the internet, especially with uh, Google Maps. So um, this is not a spot burn of any kind. So if you think it is, I mean, you're completely mistaken. Um, but so anyway, so what I'm doing tonight, um, we had a mess of big fish come in on the last moon of Montauk. Um, so those fish were located basically from here to down here. And once you got in here, they they just were not there. So um, so basically here here to there. So and then um, eh, like four or five days after the new moon, they just kind of vanished. So I just did a trophy trip with my charter the other day, and we went hunting. And one of the places we hunted was over in that area, but uh, it was weedy, and but I don't think the the fish were there anyway. Now you say that that pot of fish could have moved off into these deeper rips of Montauk. Um, but I don't think that's the case. Um, I think um, there's been a lot of consistent weather until the storm is coming up, but there's been a lot of consistent weather and there's a lot, a lot of big baits holding just off the surf line right in here. Now in the surf right now, we have your usual porgies, crabs, um, but there's also a lot of spearing. The migration of spearing has already begun. And these spearing, where they come from, are the bays back here. You know, all the way back in here. You know, um, Napi Bay, Fort Pond Bay, the Peconics, um, they all come from back in here. And they, and, uh, they start their migration and then they, then they come around the north side and the south side. Now in August, around the first moon of August, the snappers come from back there as well. And the snappers will move from these back bays and they'll move around the point and they'll get on the south side. That usually happens a after the first moon of August. Now in years past, in recent years, that hasn't happened. So, um, it's the, the, the snappers have actually come later so um, so what does that mean and where have they have these fish gone that's the question that's that's <laughs> that's what I'm trying to determine here now they could have went around the point you know, they could have went, hell, I mean, they could have went anywhere. They could have went um, over to Block Island here. Um, you know, they could have went over to Connecticut. They could have went north. You know, a lot of you might say, well, the fish went north. They're, they're still migrating. But, you know, my feeling is in July, the fish are not migrating. These fish are here and they're gonna stay here. The water, all the water temperatures are warm. And with the warm water, you may say, well, they may way, be way offshore, but I don't know. Like I said, I think that bait is in tight. So then, if I assume they are still within casting range somewhere in the surf, um, you know, this it could be on the north side, they could be on the south side. This is the north side of Montauk, and the north side is essentially the Block Island Sound, and this is the south side, which is uh, the Atlantic Ocean. So, um, they can be on either side, you know, in August I've done well on either side. So, what do I look for? Well, I look for deeper water, you know. I look for the deeper water 
and near coves, near edges. I gotta show you this is this this these Google Maps are I think these are new actually. So there's a lot of white water. It must have been a storm when they took these pictures. So you know, eh, for just for example, I see this. This is Turtle Cove right here. There's a lot of deep water in Turtle Cove. I never underestimate Turtle Cove. Yeah, it's a turtle. It's a turtle trap. It's it's a tourist trap. But let me tell you something. I've taken big fish in Turtle Cove. Um, and you know, off the lighthouse is always a good bet. Turtle Cove, and then you got Scott's Hole over here. Um, you know, uh, you know that's so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for deeper water points. I mean, I know where they are already. Um, you know, they could be down the sand beaches too, all the way down on any of these sand beaches. You know. Uh, these are the town just ditch plains that all these sand beaches can hold fish now the sand beaches of Montauk you have to realize um, yeah there's a lot of sand on the sand beaches but there's also a lot of rocks on many of the uh, um, sand beaches and those rocks um, are essentially underwater reefs depending on the year um, um, some years those rocks will really be exposed and some years they'll be just full of sand so, um, and if they're exposed, that means there's a lot of bait, um, sometimes bigger bait holding off those sand beaches. And you know what? On those sand beaches are where the bunker is right now. The bunkers are all over these sand beaches. So, you know, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people think that, oh my God, you know, I have to, to, to get these fish, these big fish in August and in um, July I'm gonna have to go on the south side that's the only place they are that is definitely not the case because I've had them on the north side over here and I've had them on the sand beaches and I've had them on the south side so there lies the problem Montauk's a huge place where are the fish or have they vanished um, I think my ultimately I'm gonna have to find the snappers of uh, August and then if the fish are there I will find some big fish on them at least that's what I hope so um, what I'll probably do is just fish the edges where the points meet the coves you know that's 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 gonna be probably my strategy um, I'm definitely gonna be interested in uh, the north side um, there's some deeper water spots on the north side I'm going to try hitting um, and we'll see we'll see what happens but you know that is a, <laughs> that's my thinking you know that that this is what I sit here and think about all night and and I go on Google Maps and, I, and you know even though I've been to Montauk I've been going to Montauk since 1982 but you know there always is still something to learn um, and Google Maps is a great way to learn new things about the area that you fish. Now, it could be a small little tiny area. Like if you take this Montauk, you know, it, may, it might be, you know, uh, here's a cropping of rocks right here. And this might be um, a tiny little area. Maybe these rocks at the edge of these rocks right here. See this black? These are rocks. So maybe I want to learn about how these rocks set up. And I go go with Google Maps, say this is not even Montauk, it's Connecticut or wherever, Rhode Island. And I want to learn more about these rocks. So I'm looking at these rocks and seeing how they set up. So, um, you know, great way. Yeah, it's just Google Maps is just great. And it really helps my, my fishing, helps me to uh, predict where the fish are going. But, you know, <laughs> it's really hard to predict. I'm hardly ever right about that, it seems, you know. But I do my best, uh, um, and as a guide, um, as a you know fishing professionally now for over 20 years in the surf, you know I I have to do my homework, and this is part of it. I have to do it. I love to do it, so it's not a problem. Um, but anyway, hope you um, hope I didn't bore you to death, and you enjoyed that a little bit, and it gives you insight on your own areas. See you on the beach.